Uh, yeah, I mean, welcome guys to this uh, uh, Twitter Spaces live live event for the sommeliers. Um, today was uh, Jack and Zaki. Uh, Tarek unfortunately couldn't make it because he got sick last second. Um, yeah, just uh, let's kick this off. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, Zaki, you can talk, right? Yeah, he should have uh, one second. There He's he still goes. on the. Yeah. Right. Because I guess I am a co-host here. Admin on Spaces. Yes, a new there. Now, now he can speak. <laughs> a, new, a new experience for me. Um, so, yeah, as I, as I kind of teased earlier, we, uh, we have uh, a live mainnet right now. Um, you know, we, I think, God, it was about a week ago today where we, okay, Zucky's having trouble joining. I will add him with his request here. Requests. Yes. Okay. There we go. Um, we had uh, a, a one false start uh, that was a minor issue related to production gas settings uh, the week prior that we have a number of confirmed validator set updates over on Ethereum. Uh, we have the gravity contract verified on Etherscan and uh, everything's kind of ticking away quietly in the background right now, um, awaiting upgrades. And exactly what have we deployed, I think is probably a good place to start here. And what we have deployed right now is just a basic Cosmos SDK chain with the gravity bridge added to it. And this is the gravity bridge that, that we've been working on for the last nine or so months. Um, it is uh, the one that uh, the UMI protocol is running on a test net with around 200 validators. So, you know, there, there are folks out there testing this at much larger scale than the, than the six validator set mainnet that we have gone to mainnet with. Um, so, yeah, Zucky, uh, do you want to tell folks a little bit more about mainnet and sort of what we've got going there? Yeah, so absolutely. So, you know, the, uh, the, you know, every mainnet is, it always surprises me because, you know, Jack and I have done so many of these, um, but they're always, uh, they're always, they're always hiccups. There's always problems you don't find until you run in production. Um, the, uh, the most hilarious bug that we found was that every transaction uh, on the Cosmos side was using 500 million gas, um, just so you know. So like a typical Cosmos block only has about 20 million gas uh, allocated to it. So then no transactions were getting into the block. Um, and that was a fun thing to figure out uh, and debug and find a, and uh, hats off to standard crypto and Gavi uh, who finally got an error log that like was like, this is what's going on. Um, so you always find these like these these tricky little bits, you know, auditing a Genesis file, getting these initial delegations are always um, always, always a tricky are always have their tricky bits to it. Um, but you know, we yeah, there are there are three projects that well, so Sommelier is running the Gravity Bridge in production today the um, uh, injective protocol is running the gravity bridge in production. Um, and uh, UMI is testing with, you know, 200 validators on testnet. Um, and so, you know, more and more people are bringing the gravity bridge vision um, to life. Um, and, you know, we are very excited to finally have this mainnet up and running to sort of start having all the stakeholders in the network participate in governance, to have a viable mechanism for increasing the number of stakeholders in the network um, all of these things uh, set us on the path to, um, you know, uh, fulfilling the sommelier vision and starting to control, uh, uh, you know, interact and manage smart contracts on the Ethereum chain. I was muted. Sorry about that. Um, so, Zucky, do we want to uh, talk a little bit more about sort of like what's coming next um, for the features on sommelier? Or should we talk a little bit more about the Gravity Bridge and potentially answer some questions on that? Um, I mean, we could talk about either. Um, what's coming next for Sommelier? Um, I mean, most of what's coming next uh, is governance proposals. Um, so we're going to start leveraging, you know, Cosmos Hub governance uh, to start sketching up the future of this network. Um, we have had um, sellers in sort of deep R&D for a number of different applications, different 
uh, DeFi protocols that will be coming to a governance proposal soon. Um, and we will be sort of uh, announcing and promoting that. Uh, you know, the, the, the set of stakeholders and the set of people who can vote on proposals right now is still pretty limited, um, but we expect that to uh, change over time. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I've just been furiously debugging our integration tests um, against, you know, running the first sellers in production. Yeah, so I think that now is a, is a good time to sort of talk a little bit more about what those first sellers in production will be. So now that we've launched the Gravity Bridge and we know that it works, we have a validator set running it. Um, uh, we have a validator set running it. Uh, you know, we know that we're going to be able to build on top of that. So in our testing environment and development environment, we've been working a lot to have a Cosmos SDK module that manages liquidity in a Uniswap v3 pool and uh, it gives users uh, active management of that liquidity. Um, so, you know, this system has everything from validators bringing in data from um, our data science team uh, into consensus to allow the validators to make a decision on when to rebalance that liquidity. And then the ability for those validators also to send the cross chain contract calls over to Ethereum and have those accepted. And right now, as Zucky's mentioning, we're in the final stages of debugging, um, debugging that testing environment. And I think right now we're failing on a um, gas estimation error <laughs> on submitting the uh, contract call over to Ethereum, which is the, the absolute last step. So I'm, I'm confident that we get that resolved here soon. And, you know, after the initial spate of governance proposals, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this live um, and we will have live active management of Uniswap v3 sellers over on Ethereum from the sommelier chain as, as our initial product. Um, so very, very excited about that. Um, Zaki, do you have any, any more context there? So absolutely. Like the... Um... I mean, the, the workflow that you've, 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 you've sketched out is the workflow that we're planning to put into production. Um, and uh, the, main, uh, the main hurdles are just sort of getting, getting our, our test frameworks, you know, uh, working and, you know, reliable. Um, and I agree with you that it's not going to be that big a deal uh, to get these pieces uh, uh, to work, you know. The focus of Sommelier is really not to build uh, a, a general purpose bridge. Um, you know, there is a there is an effort uh, underway in Cosmos to use the same technology for that purpose. Um, and, um, you know, we are we are continuing to contribute to sort of generally improving the gravity bridge technology. Um, one of the things I'm excited about is is getting a leader election uh, or, a me you know, better mechanisms to reduce um duplicate relays of, uh, of validator set updates over the bridge um, um, and get those taken care of, get those to sort of uh, no longer be as much of an issue. Uh, How but, is that uh, going? Did, are you going to use the uh, Tinderman proposer based approach? Um, it's, I think it's, it's like, you know, so I have this list of like five technical things that are blocked on me uh, yeah. inside. And I, I finished one of them last night. Uh, and so oh, cool. uh, I think it's, I think it's probably close to the end of the list, so I'll have an actual technical approach um, sort of sorted out, uh, I think, closer to. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, using using some information from Tendermint um, as a kind of um, uh, 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 voluntary leader election mechanism is potentially a way of ensuring that, like, we don't have... Uh, um, we don't have the current sort of uh, thundering herd situation um, with our relayers. A good old thundering herd. Everyone loves a nice thundering herd. So uh, I think at this point, probably good uh, for folks to request to speak. Um, and, and while we're sort of waiting for anyone with questions to come up, and, and please feel free to do that, would, would love to answer any questions about this entire stack, everything from the Gravity Bridge to the contracts over on Ethereum to the sort of interaction between those. Um, might be a nice time to kind of tease some of the stuff that we have coming next. Um, so now that we're on the verge of launching this sort of first managed Ethereum seller uh, via a Cosmos SDK chain, we've been thinking a lot at Sommelier about what is the next product we want to build and how do we use this sort of um, 
decentralized management functionality for smart contracting platforms for other uh, other things. And, and I think that there's a number of different things that are being worked on, um, but the primary one is reinvest. Now, if you're familiar with the eFi ecosystem, this word reinvest will uh, sound really familiar. Um, back in sort of DeFi summer, back in 2020, a lot of the products that Urine was putting out and, and a lot of these other sort of vault type products, things like Pickle, which got hacked and et cetera, et cetera. Um, they basically sort of uh, had this autonomous function except for this reinvest call. And that reinvest call would say, hey, take all of the gains from whatever strategy is specified by this contract and reinvest them into that strategy as a way to kind of continue to um, compound those gains. Now, putting some similar sellers under management of the uh, sommelier validator set seems like an obvious next move. Not only is reinvest less complex than the rebalance functionality that we've had to build to manage Uniswap V3 pools, um, there's a lot more contracts that we can build with it and a lot more things that we can try as far as uh, product development on top of some. And these would be things like, uh, you know, sellers that wrap different Aave products and provide uh, self-compounding loans and things like that. Um, but that's a huge new uh, product category that, that we're, we're going to be developing. We've got some initial code for the, uh, do, 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 do. we've got some initial code for doing this um, that we're starting to work on. And now that we have this first test case uh, basically working and Zucky's like finishing the last little bit of it, adding additional test cases with additional modules becomes much, much easier. And we're gonna be able to scale this effort up very quickly so that with this initial set of sellers we're launching on Uniswap, then we'll have you know five times that amount with the, the reinvest functions. And then with additional code that we'll be shipping later, We'll, have, we'll cover more and more use cases. And all of those uh, revenues from managing those DeFi products will uh, accrue directly to SOM holders. And you know, that's where we're looking to drive value to this token and how we're looking to uh, provide tokenomics for SOM because one of the things that we didn't talk about with mainnet launch is we've launched with zero inflation. Um, so we do have a fixed supply of the token. Um, and yeah, so... Uh, yeah, any other items that you'd like to add to that, Zucky? No, those those sound like sort of the a lot of top level key things about uh, the launch of the Sam mainnet. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, Mario, do you have any uh, questions from the community that, that that folks would be interested in? Things that I haven't covered here. Um, so I don't see anything in the chat. I'm looking at the spaces here to see if anybody has raised their hand but i don't see anything either i mean correct me if i'm wrong but yeah i, no, I, I don't, don't see anything either anybody, yet yeah i don't think anybody has a question i mean we would love to hear questions though so if you have anything just you know raise your hand and yeah rob I, I know you're very, <laughs> yeah I, rob i know you're very active in the telegrams please feel free to jump up here um carl if, if you have any questions would love to hear from you as well thank you for joining really appreciate it um, let's see here. Any, and anyone else in the chat, um, please feel free to request here. Um, but it's sort of while we've got some dead air, um, maybe I can talk a little bit more about, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm dying on topics up here. I mean, if nobody has any further questions and, you know, I guess we can we can call it a day then for this for this session. Uh, we'll be back next weekend, so you know, there's always another time to ask. Yeah, I mean, I think what people should expect is you know as we kind of knock through these like you know significant like uh, organizational and operational hurdles like getting a mainnet up and and knocking out these tests. You know, the, there's going to be sort of an ongoing set. Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 piece of uh, of the um, sort of an ongoing um, uh, uh, there's going to be an ongoing sort of steady stream of, of new things to talk about um, and uh, mainnet is a big milestone for us um, uh, you know it's taken us 
uh, you know, it took me about, it took about six months longer than I was originally anticipating. Um, but we got here and, uh, you know, it sets up the stage for what comes next. Awesome. Yes, it does. And, and, you know, very excited about what we have coming down the pipe here. I think that it's going to be an, an active next uh, three to six months of product development at Sommelier. I, I will also note, uh, we are hiring. So if you're interested in um, working at Sommelier on some of the most exciting cross-chain technology uh, and think you have something to offer, please hit us up. Um, we would love to chat with you. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for coming today and uh, listening to us and see you next week. We have one request here. Hey, oh, sorry. yes. <laughs> Late. Hi, I, awesome. I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to ask like, what was your thesis on starting with uh, zero inflation or a fixed supply? Yeah, I think that's a great question. You know, one of the, Zachy and I, as Zachy mentioned, we've, we've launched a lot of Cosmos SDK based chains. Um, one of the issues that, that we've had as, uh, you know, owners of some of these assets is uh, when you stake them, the inflation is treated as income in a lot of countries. And, you know, you end up having to pay taxes on that. Um, so, you know, figuring out another tokenomic model where we could provide stability and make sure that the validator set gets paid. Um, while retaining zero inflation and having a fixed supply token um, was something that we were looking to do. Zaki kind of led that effort, um, and the, the current tokenomic design for Sommelier is kind of what he came up with. Um, also, I think that, you know, in, in my mind, a proof of stake chain is kind of a DAO, and I think of a DAO a lot like a traditional shareholder-based uh, company, and instead of uh, there being sort of one company, there's a number of companies that sort of contribute to make up that DAO. And they are represented within that sort of token holder set. So uh, with that in mind, you know, having a fixed supply initially allows for easier valuation um, of those tokens, as well as, you know, uh, avoiding that tax issue, which is something that, that folks have run into a lot of the past, you know. If you're on, if you if you stake on any of these proof of stake chains, you know, going to pull that data is onerous, and you know, um, having to sell those assets that, that you've earned um, in order to pay the government, uh, you know, results in sell pressure for those assets, as well as um, you know, a lot of reporting burden for everyone in the ecosystem. So that was something that we were hoping to avoid. Does that answer your question, Parth? Sure, sure. But uh, like, if if you just start with a hard cap. Uh, even with inflation, you can a certain hard cap, right? Like you can say that uh, like the inflation would be for X number of years. And then this is the hard cap. Uh, yeah. You but, know, uh, th there's a number of projects that have taken that approach. Um, you can go invest in, in DVPN or Akash or any of the other Cosmos chains that, that are sort of looking at that uh, hard cap with a initial high inflation to uh, incentivize early users. Um, and, and see how that model, model works. Um, that's great. We're trying to pioneer a slightly different model here at SOM. Sure, got it. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Oh, I see that Zach has joined. If anyone else has any questions in these last couple of minutes, uh, I'm, I'm happy to hang around until 11. Uh, but at that point, we have standoff. <laughs> I need to go talk to the Sommelier team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Three more minutes, guys. Who else? Oh, Mark. Okay. Awesome. Hey. Hey, Mark. You should be able to speak now. Awesome. Hey, Mark, you, you, you're you going to need to unmute. I think it drops you unmuted. Okay, I got you now. <clears throat> well, hey, Jack, thanks, everybody. Um, yeah, absolutely. So I've been following along since you guys first announced uh, Somalia, but um, just with so much going on all the time, it's hard to keep track. Uh, what I, I came late today, um, how do people get a hold of the uh the token um is that going to be post may not mainnet launch or or how's that going to work 
Yeah, so uh, as we mentioned earlier, we, we have launched mainnet. Um, we do have some uh, unformed plans on how to distribute these tokens to, uh, to users. Um, we'd like to incentivize sort of early users of Sam.finance, um, as well as some of the communities that, that we're a part of, such as Adam uh, and Osmosis. Uh, but we don't really have concrete plans on exactly what that looks like. Right now, um, the token distribution doesn't have any liquid tokens beyond those in the foundation. Um, so the foundation is going to make a decision on how to distribute those tokens to users. We will be making announcements about that soon. As Zaki mentioned in the call, we're going to have a series of governance proposals over the coming weeks that will sort of shape the way the network is going to operate. Um, and, and please be on the lookout for those. We, we will be uh, announcing a lot more there soon. Good question, Mark, and thank you very much for asking that. All right. Well, uh, thanks. Yeah, absolutely. With this being 11 o'clock, I, I do need to run um, <laughs> and looking forward to uh, seeing everyone next week. And thank you, everyone, for joining today and uh, talk soon. Yep. Thank you, everyone. Talk soon. Awesome.